credit to team effort. You know, Rojo had two touchdowns, and you know, CJ got in the zone, Mark threw for four, so and our offensive line did great. I got a chance to watch Cal and Oregon State play, and uh, you know, when, when they took care of business, and we knew going into this game that the Pac-10 was 4-0, and we didn't want to be that one loss, so we had to make sure we took care of business. We came out here, and uh, the beginning of the season, though, to win the Pac-10 and own the Rose Bowl. We came out here to, uh, you know, we really played a good first half, got a little sloppy in the second half, but you know, in the end, we, you know, we finished strong. Everyone in the country has one loss. Some teams got in ahead of us, and uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out one day how to do it. Do you ever get old to be playing in the Rose Bowl? No, it doesn't. It doesn't because you know you look at this atmosphere; it's unbelievable for a football game. Uh, really came away today with the, with the victory, and it's uh, it's been awesome. And they play hard to the end, and we got to respect that about them. We haven't seen that you know, in a long time, and they fought, and you know, they had no no quit. They were resilient, and you know that we respect. I respect that a lot about them. And, you know, right now we feel as if we could play with any team in the country. We feel as if we can go toe-to-toe with anybody. But, you know, um, like I said, unless they uh, they do a, a playoff system, you know, none of this is going to – they will never give the, the respect or, you know, the, the, the rights to the, the, the team that need to be in the national championship. But, you know, as of tonight, you know, we won. You know, we beat a good Illini team, and that, that, that's it. We won. We came out victorious, and you know, we're just going to soak it all in and celebrate. I mean, you know, we put a challenge on the offense to come out here and score some points. And uh, they sure answered the call. And, you know, defense came and, you know, never gave up in the second half. We gave us some big plays, gave us some points. But, you know, uh, we stuck it through. And, you know, we finished with that, you know, that interception with uh, Will Harris. And, hey, we won. And right now we're just going to party. The, the, the things that I've gone through here at SC, you know, the things that I never thought that would happen in my lifetime, um, starting, you know, playing for the, one of the best teams in the country, playing for one of the best coaches in the country, um, I will never give up anything for this. I mean, I've learned so much from being here, and uh, it taught me a lot. And uh, I think I grew as a player. And so, man, like I said, I'll never give up anything for this. I'm just happy to be here, happy to give everything that I had to this team and to this uh, program. And, you know, like I said, we're just going to soak it all in tonight and uh, celebrate the win. I don't know. Um, only God can tell where I go from here. Only, um, you know, life, you know, can, uh, can tell where I go. So, you know, like I said, um, I'm going to... Listen for my call, and when the call comes, I'm just going to run with it. Well, it's the same old, same old for USC, defeating Penn State 38-24, getting another Rose Bowl victory here in 2009. It's the ninth straight victory over a Big Ten opponent for USC and the third straight here at the Rose Bowl. Mark Sanchez was simply spectacular, going for career highs with four touchdown passes and one rushing on the ground as well. The Nittany Lions looked rusty. That's partly because they haven't played a game in six weeks. But with this victory, USC can claim that they should be number one, but hey, there's no playoff system. We'll have to wait and see if Obama can change that. Reporting from Pasadena, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCRegister.com.